Right. Congressman Dan Burton is in studio along with 24-Hour News 8 political reporter Jim Shella. And welcome, Congressman. Thank you. Congressman Burton has been a vocal critic of the president's plan for health care reform. Representative, you often refer to it as socialized medicine. When you say that, are you only talking about the public option? Well, the public option is a big part of it, and I think what they're going to do is they're probably going to water that down uh, so they'll come up with some other title for it. But I think that they're absolutely committed to a government-run plan, which we're very concerned about. You, but there's going to be tax increases. There's going to be an increase in the cost of health care insurance, in my opinion, especially with the government plan, because what's going to happen is an individual businessman if his insurance for his employees is above a certain level, he's going to move them over to the government plan, the government option. We want to share a portion of the debate in Congress this week. It involves you reacting to Democratic Congressman Alan Grayson of Florida. Remember, the Republican plan, don't get sick. And if you do get sick, die quickly. I can't believe what I just saw. I can't believe it. First of all, it's totally wrong. And secondly, it's making fun of a very important issue for the American people. Congressman, why were you the one to react to that speech? Was it chance? No, it wasn't chance. I'm down there every night working on the health care issue to make sure we illuminate that for the American people. And uh, I think it's important that we're down there to respond to uh, some of the allegations made by the opposition. Okay. Uh, we've got a question here from a viewer, uh, a doctor by the name of Gregory Smith. who The most important thing when I met with doctors around uh, my district was tort reform. But I want to say one thing real quickly while we have the time, real quick. The Bacchus plan will increase taxes by $420 billion. Our plan is paid for. It also provides tax incentives and tax decreases and refunds for people that are in it. In fact, we've proposed a plan that would deal with the problems facing the health care crisis in this country. But I don't think we need government control of health insurance, and that's what we're all concerned about right now on the Republican side. Uh, President Obama seems committed to having a government option. Uh, one, one question that just came in from Lou Ellen Markovich. She says she agrees with your opposition to government-run plans, and she writes to con congressional representatives, what else can she do to let Congress know about her opposition? I think it's extremely important that people go to town meetings. I've got two of them coming up in Hamilton County in about a month and to express themselves to their congressmen and senators. If they don't want the government coming between them and their doctor, they need to speak out now before they pass something that will really hurt the American people. Thanks very much.